assalamu alaikum everybody uh, today we are going to do three router connections using the packet tracer software so let's start i'll be placing the routers these are the three routers then i'll be adding switches three switches are there now and uh, adding some laptops so these are the laptops which I have added now the connections turn it on for every router add the port and turn it on and here we go the third one we'll be adding the port and turning it on connections you know already how to do it so I'm going to do it very quickly to save time switch to and the last switch And now router to the switch so we have done it the connections the next step will be to start assigning the IP addresses I'm going to type all the addresses for routers and the laptops so that we do not make any mistake while configuring okay this is 192.168.11 this is 121 192.168.21 and this is 192.168.31 these are for the routers and uh, then we are going to go for the laptops and you can see 192.168.1.2 and 192.168.1.3 similarly Two dot two and two dot three for the second network and three dot two and three dot three for the not third network. At three dot three. So we are done with it now. The next step we are going to assign the gateway, the fast Ethernet, IP addresses first 192.168.1.2, subnet task, and if you go to the settings and global uh, gateway, sorry, it is going to be 1.1. And same is for the other laptop of the first net. We 
will repeat this process for the second third second and third switch it will be the same procedure with the different network IP addresses and gateway is also going to be different it's going to be 2.1 for the second switch and finally we'll going to go and we'll do the same for the third switch and the laptops 3.1 is the gateway and uh, 192.168 3.2 is for this PC the laptop and this one again the gateway will be 3.1 and the IP address will be 3.3 so you can see all the gateways are have been added now let's go to the router for the first router router 0 we'll go to the serial we'll add the IP address which is 11.0.0.1 and we'll turn it on the port status we'll go to the fast Ethernet and the IP will be it's going to be 192.168.1.1 turn the port status on then we'll go to the static I will give the address there the network ID is 192.168.2.0 and the subnet passes and the next hop this is what is new We'll be adding the next hop which is 11.0.0.2 which is shown here okay to 2.0 and the next hop will be what will be the next hop it's going to be this one so I'm going to add all them we'll do the same for the router 1 with the IP address of 192.168 it's going to be 11.0.0.2 and the serial will be so fast then it will be 192.168.2.1 192.168.2.1 and the subnet pass turn the port status on static will be 192.168.2.1 192.168.1.0 mass will be 255, 255, 255, 255 and 11.0.0.1 I guess we're going to add this I'll give the other IP address 192.168.3.0 subnet task 255.255.255.0 and the next hop will be 12.0.0.2 I will add that so we add both of them for the second and now for the third 
I hope you are getting the difference. It's now it's 12.0.0.2 and the fast Ethernet will be 192.168.3.1. Turn it on, static. It's going to be 192.168.1.0, uh, the network ID. Mass will be class C and next stop will be 12.0.0.1 which is this one. Okay, we'll add that. Now we are going to see. Eleven dot zero dot zero. And we have added the network address, the other network address, the third network address, okay let's check it's successful now laptop 2 to 3 uh, 1 to 4 is failing try again and you see it's successful now okay Now it's successful in progress fail you'll try it again and now it's successful so this is how it's going to work I hope you are getting the idea and I want everybody to try it on the packet tracer try it yourself 